Hello and welcome to this Miami University Libraries tutorial for students in Psychology 345. Now that you've done the tutorials on generating keywords and on Boolean operators, now we'll apply those skills to, to do a literature search. So you should begin on the Psychology Research Guide, which you can find linked below the page that has this video on it in the module in Canvas. And if we're looking for literature in the field of psychology, you can see on you can see under best bets that PsychInfo is labeled as the premier database for psychological sciences and related social science research. So let's do our searches there. Okay, so, so let's click into PsychInfo. Now, if you're off campus, you'll be asked to log in. One of the strengths of PsychInfo as a database is the amount of control it gives you over your search results. So if we scroll down, you're going to find a lot of different limiters that you can set. The first one that we'll set for this search is we only want things that are in peer-reviewed journals. So we'll go ahead and click that. And now we want to come over here to publication type and we want to select both peer-reviewed journal and peer-reviewed status unknown. And I hit the shift key to select more than one thing. And then under methodology, I want to scroll down here and select um, a quantitative study, right? So I've set those limiters, but there are a lot more of them here and feel free to explore them and see how that changes your search results. So I'm going to scroll up here now and enter my search terms. Now, for the purposes of this example, what we're going to do is we're going to do a search for the prevalence of major depressive disorder in Scandinavia. So we have three concepts in that um, so in that uh, research question. So I'm going to type those three concepts in each box. And if you notice, I've got and set here. So that's going to combine the terms with, with an and. So I'm going to put Scandinavia. And then over here, major depressive disorder. And if you notice, if you start typing, oftentimes if your search is a common search done in the database, it'll pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. And then prevalence um, is right here. So I'm going to go ahead now and conduct my search. Now you'll find that we didn't get any results. And this is common if what you're doing is you're searching for a region. Sometimes you need to put in the names of countries because most studies are not about a region. They're about a specific country. So I'm going to go ahead up here, Scandinavia. And if I type or, you'll notice I'll get a result here that says Scandinavia or Norway or Sweden or Denmark or Finland or Iceland. And that's the one I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I'm going to um, search that out and we get 143 results. So I'm going to go ahead and, and look through a couple of these. So let's come down here to the 13th um, search result, right? And if I click on this, we can find in these results pages a large amount of information about the specific article. One thing that, that you'll notice is, is that most articles will have an abstract. And it's really important that you read abstracts as you evaluate sources to see if they're um, applicable to your um, project. And uh, you'll also notice that all of those um, limiters that we set are represented down here. So it's in a peer-reviewed journal. It's a quantitative study. Um, so let's talk a little bit about full text now. So if we go back to the search results page, um, some articles will have direct link to PDF full text right here in PsycInfo, and you just click on that and it downloads the PDF. But you don't want to use that as, as a way in which you select sources, because we have so many things that are not included in, um, that, that our full text subscription doesn't come through EBSCO. So um, let's take a look now at some other ones. So all of them have a yellow find it button. So if we so if we click on that if we click on that yellow find it button, it's going to search our holdings to see um, if we happen to have it in full text. And if you notice here, get full text from the Ohio Link EJC. So if I click on this, it's going to take me to a page that contains the full text. Now some of them, though, unfortunately, we we simply won't have. So I'm going to go ahead and click on find it for for result number 28. And this is what it looks like if we don't have access to that particular article. And you can, you can try to request it over um, interlibrary loan. Um, but the best bet if you really want something that we don't have available in full text is to contact your subject librarian. And 
her contact information can be found here um, on this research guide. So here's uh, here's her email address. So if you find something that you um, really would like to to obtain, that you get this screen where um, where we don't have it. Uh, contact her, and she'll help you locate it in full text. So let's, though, um, suppose that instead of Scandinavia, we want to do another region of the world, say maybe China. Um, you just change the, you just change the, um, the name of the country here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click this. Um, again, we get 102 here. And if you notice, it's important as you change your search to look over here and make sure that your limiters are still set. Um, another thing that you can do is you can is you can set the publication dates. So suppose you only want to see stuff published in the last 10 years. So I'm going to go ahead and do 2010. Um, and if you just wait, it, um, it, it resets. So now we're down to 80. Um, if I come up here, like suppose you wanted to do South Asia. So you do India or... Um, or, or Bangladesh or Pakistan here. Um, go ahead and click search on that one. And we get 21 articles that still, the, the date limiter is still set and all of the other ones are still set. If you have any questions about this process um, or any other aspect of library research, please feel free to contact the libraries. Um, you can do this by coming up to any of the library's home pages and clicking here on Ask Us and then on Chat. And we'll answer the question that way, or you can contact your subject librarian as we discussed before. Thank you very much.